Even though the woods are pretty bare these days, it's still very beautiful out here. As the seasons change, sometimes it just blows my mind to think about what it used to look like in the previous season with all this beautiful color. But even though things are a bit bare right now, there's still so many benefits to being out here in the woods. Sometimes as I'm wandering about these sleeping forests, I dream about what it was like when there were all these vivid colors here on the trees. But now I get to look at the bare branches and how lovely they are, and then this gorgeous lake that I'm sure Anne Shirley would call a lake of shining waters. I'm sitting out here in front of the lake <laughs> and it just started snowing. It's not gonna stick, but it just feels really nice sitting here while it's snowing and blowing on me. A little chilly, because it's a cold day today. And of course the air coming off of a lake is pretty chilly. <laughs> but I don't know if I ever told you guys about my tree. This is my tree that I'm sitting at. <laughs> During COVID, this has always kind of been my spot where I come when I'm hiking and I stop at the lake and I sit here and it's my thinking spot and I usually sit here for 10 or 15 minutes. And during COVID at the thick of it, ooh, snow was like really hit me, when we were all still encouraged to really socially distance and not see family, even like really keep your distance, have your bubble or whatever. And I lived by myself, so my bubble was me. <laughs> and of course I kept in contact with people, you know, via Zoom and, and phone and that kind of stuff, but it's just not the same thing as physical contact. And I did not have Charlie at the time. So at some point I felt like I was genuinely just losing my mind. Like that's the only way I can describe it. And I know, you know, everybody had their own set of COVID challenges. That was mine, that I was just so lonely that I felt broken. Like, and I think actually that's a lot of my anxiety and stuff I'm dealing with now is still, I'm just still trying to come out from that. But anyway, I, my best friend actually was the one who recommended to me, she was like, you know, you can hug trees and get actual benefits from it. And I was like, well, that's kind of makes sense, but also like, I'm not gonna go hug trees. <laughs> but then one day I was out here sitting at this tree and I was like, what's the worst that could happen? I'll try it. Tried it. Sure enough, like, I felt a little better. <laughs> and so then I just started doing that. Every time I was here, I would hug this tree for a minute and yeah, it helped. It didn't fix anything, like didn't fix the problem, but it helped a little bit. So now whenever I sit at this tree, I think of that and I'm so grateful that I get to hug people and I'm so grateful that I have my Charlie now that I hug like 500 times a day, poor little guy. <laughs> but yeah, if you need to hug something and you don't have someone around you, you can definitely give a tree a try. <laughs> I mean, they're alive, so. They do have energy, which is something that we exchange when we hug, so. Okay, I can't sit here much longer, but this is my tree. Just wanted you to know about it. <laughs> Burr, I didn't know this was coming. <laughs> They're like little ice pellets. <laughs> but it's still beautiful. <laughs> I was gonna take my drone up, but there's suddenly so much wind and all that I don't know. <laughs> I'm hugging my tree now. This was my tree. It was a beautiful spot to sit and hug and look out at the water. <laughs> I'm very glad that I have people to hug now, but I'm grateful to this tree for being my, my hugging tree. <laughs> and just in case you didn't already think I was weird, now you probably really do, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs>
so often when I'm thinking about how to improve my diet, I think of things to take out, but I've been trying to think of what I can add in, just different variety. And so this week I made a red lentil and mushroom curried stew. So delicious and nourishing. Oh, good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon. You woke up? You had to go and lie down under your covers because it was so cold on your walk. Got a lot of covers here, buddy. Got one, two, three fluffy covers for you and your sweater. It's tough to be a chihuahua in the winter, huh? <laughs> For the last couple of weeks, we've had so much sunshine, but this week the sun was MIA and most of our gray days, we've actually had snow flurries kind of all throughout the day on and off. Not the kind of snow that sticks around, but it is pretty to look at. There's a farm just up the road from the cottage where the birds seem to love to hang out. And last winter they put on quite a show for me. So I keep popping by to see what I might find. And they didn't do anything too impressive this day, but it was pretty anyway. Of course, when it's gray and dreary and a little bit snowy, you have to do some baking. But this baking wasn't for me. This is actually some cookies for Charlie. This is a very simple recipe. It is just one and a half cups of ground oats, or you could buy oat flour already ground, half a cup of pumpkin puree, and one egg. You think you could eat all this pumpkin? Come here, buddy. Come. That's a lot of pumpkin for a little boy. <laughs> I know you love pumpkin, bud. I know you love it. Get it all? Buddy, there's more here. Go for your tummy, too. Good boy, buddy. Earlier that day when I had been out for a walk and sitting under my tree thinking about things I'm grateful for, I was thinking of how grateful I am that I have Charlie in my life right now. Since when he wasn't here with me, it was a little bit depressing. So it felt nice to make a little special something for him because I love him so much. And anytime you make things for people you love, it makes you feel good. I've got your treat treat. <laughs> I've got your treat treat, buddy. Oh, I made you your cookies. You ready? Sniff it. Come. Come. These are your cookies. You gotta chew it, buddy. Gotta chew it. No, you're not even chewing, piggy. You're not even chewing. Cut, kiss, kiss. goodness Charlie they were that good I can't give you any more you want the cookies I know Charlie definitely can't eat all of these cookies well he shouldn't eat all these cookies so I'm going to send them to some friends for their puppies a bigger dog can easily eat one of these and it won't be a problem but with little tiny doggies He's really only supposed to eat a quarter of a cup of food total a day. <laughs> so I have to watch his calories because he puts on weight so fast. <sighs> it's 4.10. The struggle is so real with um, exercise this time of year. It's going to be dark in, well, like five minutes really because the sun's going to set at 4.30 and it's already a gray, sunless day. So it'll basically be dark in a few minutes. And I didn't already get out to exercise. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to now. Which makes me not feel as good mentally, 
but it's just the day goes by like that. So tomorrow morning, I have to get up early. I don't like to take my walks in the morning, but I just have to do it. I have to get up early and just take an extra long walk. This is a tough time of year for that, for sure. I wish I was someone who enjoyed the gym. Don't enjoy the gym. But often, come January, I do join it for three months if it's um, really snowy and icy because then you can't safely. Well, it's the ice that's the problem. So if it gets really icy, I join a gym. Or if it gets, like, frigid for a while, I join a gym. But it hasn't for the last few years. It hasn't really been frigid in the winter. But, yeah, the struggle is real. Even on the days when I'm not getting out for my walks, which are not that many days anymore, I'm doing really good, I do make sure to go out and jump on my little rebounder for at least 10 minutes. It just makes me feel so much better. I know it's really good for the lymphatic system, but for me personally, more than my lymphatic system, it's just good for my mind to be out there jumping around like a little <laughs> child. And it's just a tiny bit of exercise when my body really needs it. <laughs> Gotta pay attention so I don't fall off. <laughs> This weekend, I have some friends coming over for a little bonfire here in the garden and some warm, yummy chili, which is always a good time for hanging out with friends. So I know that for this winter, I want to just fill the whole garden up with white lights so that it just is so beautiful when the snow falls. I'm picturing myself sitting out in the garden with the fire lit and lights just absolutely everywhere as snow is falling around me. I cannot wait to do that, but I am waiting until after the holidays because as soon as the holidays end, all of the white lights and all of the decor will go on sale, sometimes as much as 90% off. So I'll be waiting until then to get my lights for the garden. But since I have some friends coming over, I bought a few strings just to add a little bit of light to the yard. And even though it's not nearly enough, it's a pretty start and I just love seeing the lights out there. We have come to the end of another video and I'm so thankful for, for all of you for being here and supporting this channel. I appreciate it so much. I will be spending the next few days trying to find every minute to get outside for a nice little walk, whether it's in the woods or in downtown. And I hope the same for you. I hope you get to be outside and enjoy lots of time in nature wherever you may be in the world. Thank you so much for being here, friends.